First Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather. All right, a good Sunday morning. It's a little bit of a foggy start out there. Let's go ahead and get you the visibilities right now as we're going throughout the rest of your Sunday. There they are, and they have been reduced pretty much region wide, all due to the excess moisture that we have in play from the rain that we did receive yesterday and the light wind. So doing any traveling this morning, just make sure you give yourself a little bit of extra time to get to your destination safely. Here's a live look at the radar right now. Pinpoint Doppler from MBS. Still got a few of those showers. Currently right now, areas near Genesee County moving throughout the thumb. And you got a few more of those just to the north of the bay, closer to the shoreline. Uh, still chances for some more showers definitely will be there in a more of a scattered fashion as we get later into the afternoon. Can't roll out a few rumbles of thunder and like we also did see yesterday, uh, a few heavy downpours within some showers definitely will be in the realm of possibility too. So those are going to be the main things that we continue to watch as we go throughout the rest of Sunday. Not a complete washout. If you're not seeing the rain actively fall, I think we do have some more clouds to work with and the humidity levels going to be a little bit higher too for today. So hour by hour, here we go for the rest of this morning. Still holding on to the chance for those showers. Even as we get into the afternoon, notice the coverage right there still staying mainly in a scattered fashion as we go throughout the rest of the daytime for your Sunday. Looks like we start to lose the grip of the showers later into the evening hours overnight. We still can't rule out a few isolated showers later into the overnight. I think any shower chances as the system continues to move east by Monday are going to be better off the further east you go closer there throughout the thumb and if you're closer to the lake shore, but we're going to finally be ushering in. It looks like some drier air by the time we do reach later into the day on Monday. That's going to set us up for a pretty nice day on Tuesday. So on top of the rain you've already received in your neighborhood, about another quarter, maybe upwards of a half an inch. Could have some locally higher amounts, maybe closer to the lake shore, getting closer to three quarters when it's all said and done. Temperatures today going to be just a little bit cooler due to the rain showers and the cloud cover that we're expecting. Upper 70s looking good. And again, if you're not seeing the rain actively fall, still going to be a little bit of a more humid day for uh, your liking for many. I think your dew points will still keep you right there. Upper 60s near 70. And there you go into the next seven past the weekend. You got a few more of those again, lingering showers further east. You go on Monday. Uh, looks like we got a few nice days coming up right there. Hannah Tuesday, Wednesday looking pretty good. Low 80s could even have a few more showers. We'll watch that for you by late next week. Back oh, to you. Nice. A little bit of summer left for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. <laughs>